Hello okay, guys, let's talk about area in between. I'll also recall something from last two video of we learn how to find the area to the left. We just go to the Z table. If given the Z score is given, we go to the Z table and get the area. That's it. This is our answer. And area to the right, we have a two option. Area to the right is one minus area to the left of Z. So in other word, you go to the Z table and get that score area and you subtract from one or you go to the opposite table and you get the answer you don't have to subtract from one that way okay so now we're doing another way area in between so clearly we see this is an example okay the shaded area we look into shaded area so if i look into this problem here right this is a location as you see this is one location this is another location and of course this is a z1 and this is a z2 as you clearly see okay all right z2 so what we should do we are actually going to get something up here from here okay there is going to be two z score two z score so all we do is just go to the z table and technically you take the difference you take the difference between the two area okay that would be your answer so negative 1.15 we just jump into negative 1.15 negative 1.1 where is that down here 1.1 and you go all the way down to five. Where is five? Yeah, that is five. Here you go. So point twelve fifty one. Here you go. We found one. Point twelve fifty one. So area, area one is equal to zero point twelve fifty one. Now we're gonna look for area two. Okay, so area two is one point zero seven. So one point zero seven. What is that? One point zero this is negative so we look into positive side where is the positive side let's go down another one here so 1.0 so 1.0 oh, i have so much stuff here let me erase this stuff here okay so 1.0 that's 1.0 and that's 1.0 but we go all the way to 7 that's it. That's it. Point eight five seven seven. So we have point eight five seven seven. Zero point eight five seven seven. Okay. Now we find two answers, right? So now we can actually subtract, take the difference. So we say zero point eight five seven seven minus zero point one two. 0.1251 that would be my area so area is equal to we can take a help of little calculator so we can say 0.8577 minus 0 0.1251 enter clearly 73.7326 so area is equal to 0 0.7326 i want to make sure you all understand that sometimes some students actually do like this they go with the smaller number first in other words they put this one in the calculator so 0 0.1251 then they subtract minus 0 0.8577 and they enter and they say oh professor i get negative right well your area can never be negative your area can never be negative under the normal curve total area under the normal curve is one so it has to be from zero to one it cannot be negative why because this line is not going down so therefore you just drop the negative sign that's it you know by default is going to be positive so you can do that also make sure you understand that okay so that's the answer for this one here specifically right now let's take a look on the next one so this one is also there is in between so we can actually get the two area you can actually draw it it's it's, it's optional you, you can you can draw it well let me actually show you what you mean what you mean by drawing so you have a normal curve and of course this is the mean and negative one five so if you have one one to the right and of course two two and negative 1.15 so this is going to be one of the point here 
and 1.0 so maybe another one so you go down here you go up here and you look anywhere in between look you can look anywhere in between right this is what we're looking for okay this is what we're looking for so now I want to make sure you don't have to do that this is optional actually okay this is optional this is completely optional all right so you go to the z table and get the area negative 1.15 so negative 1.15 is going to give you i think i just have shown you this is a similar one actually negative or oh, this is positive right so we go to negative oh, negative 1.1 and 5 look it's 12 it's 12 5.1251 yeah we already did that earlier i think okay so i didn't even realize that we have same thing 0 0.1251 that's the area for one and then we're gonna have another area so this is area one and we're gonna have area two so what is the area to 1.07 so 1.07 positive 1.07 1.0 and seven here you go that's a seven so 0.8577 again you have to draw this you know i just put this in here as you see 1.07 okay so that gives you 0 0.8577 0 0.8577 0 0.8577 but what's next is we cannot have a two area we must come up with one area this is what we're looking for that's one single thing so we say 0.8577 okay 0.8577 minus 0.1251 and definitely that would be our answer so area is equal to again you put down your calculator little calculator okay so you can say uh, 0.8577 minus 0 0.125 it's going to give you basically same thing actually well same as before somehow I didn't actually change those so it's going to be 0 0.73 Two six seven three seven three two six. Sorry about that. Okay, that's the answer. Um, somehow now I apologize. I forgot to actually change that. This is basically the same thing. Well, you know, you know, just can be different. Okay, so let's take a look here. Another one. So assume that adult have IQ score that are normally distributed with a mean. 90 and a standard deviation is 35 okay 